हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफओसी क्लास 11 दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ जावा फॉर क्लास 11 आईटी वी हैव एक्सप्लेन ऑल द एग्जांपल्स इन नेट बीन्स आईडीई फॉर अ क्लियर कंसेप्ट ओवरव्यू एंड बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द जावा कंसेप्ट these are the components which we will be studying in this chapter today we will be covering these three components j frame form j button and j text field so let us start first is j frame form the first step while designing our applications is adding a new j frame form so whenever we are designing our application first of all we will add j frame form what is it basically it is a window with title border menu bar which is optional and why is it used it is used to contain all other components placed by the user on the form as we have discussed in the previous video that there is parent control and child control so basically j frame is a parent control and it is used to place another components or controls on it so it acts as a parent control some of the properties of the j frame form are default close operation and title these properties we will be studying let us see how to add j frame form first of all you will select your project name you will right click on it then you will select new and when you select new this will appear from these options you have to select j frame form then this window will appear here you will provide the class name whichever name you want and then you have to click on finish as we clicked on the finish button here our j frame is available in the design view and as i have told you whichever component we select its properties are displayed in the properties window so here you can see the properties of j frame are being displayed here we will be discussing the properties of j frame default close operation and title as given in your book first of all default close operation it sets action to be performed when the user attempts to close the form as its name is suggesting that it performs the operation of closing so whenever we are selecting it then it will set the action to close the form means whenever the user will want to close the form then the action to perform in closing the form will be performed by the property default close operation then is title title means the heading so basically it sets the text to be displayed in the title bar of the form window means what will be the title of the form window it is decided by the title property it sets the text of the title bar any component of gui front end of an application is an object each of these objects belong to its corresponding class predefined in java basically whenever we are selecting any component in our application then it is an object and each object belongs to a class and this class is predefined in java what are these classes object we will be discussing everything first of all let us study their example so that they will be more clear to us that what is class and what is object here is a given example a form is an object of j frame class all the text fields are object of j text field class so basically if we consider j frame a class then its object will be a form if we consider j text field class then all the text field will be the object of j text field class so basically 
text fields are the subparts of j text field so we can say that objects are subparts of class each object has some properties methods and events associated with it using which you can control the object's appearance and behavior so whenever we have selected any object then it will have some properties methods and events and what are they helpful for basically they help us in controlling the object appearance and its behavior means in what way it will be useful for us all these things are controlled by properties methods and events of the object now let us discuss in detail properties and methods basically properties are used to control the appearance of the object and methods are used to perform action on the object so whenever we want to change the appearance of the object we will use properties and whenever we want to perform some action on that object then we will be using methods so example of properties first is to set the background color of a text field you can change its background property background color it is appearance of the object so if we want to change it or set it then we will change the background property to set its font you change its font property font is also appearance of the object and if we want to change it then we will select font property then comes method as we have discussed it is used to perform some action on the object so suppose if we want to display something in a text field then we will use set text method if we want to extract the contents of a text field we will use get text method so these are two types of method getters and setters we will be discussing them in detail set text and get text will be clear to you let us discuss about them getters are the methods which extract some information from the object and return it to the program as their name is suggesting they will get something means they will extract something extract from where from the object and where they will return this they will return this information to the program so they will extract information from the object and they will return this information to the program this is how getter methods work getters start with the word get examples of getters are get text get foreground get model is editable etc all these are example of getters they extract information from the object and return it to the program then comes setters setters are the methods which set some properties of the object so that the object appearance changes these start with set examples are set text set foreground set model etc so basically their name is also suggesting they will set something they will set what they will set the properties of the object and as we have discussed properties are used to control the appearance of the object so whenever we are setting the properties of the object then its appearance will be changed so this is the working of setters method and its examples are set text set foreground set model these all are examples of setters now events first of all recall that methods are used to perform some action on the object so the action we were talking about in the methods these actions are the events so we can say that events are the action which are performed on controls whichever action we are going to perform on the controls they will be called as events examples are mouse click mouse move key press all these are events means all these are actions that we will be performing on various controls or components when the user performs any action on a control an event happens and that event invokes the corresponding part of the code and the application behaves accordingly so basically the event is associated with the code 
a part of code and whenever we are performing any action on a control then an event will happen and what will that happening do after happening of event the event will call the corresponding part of the code and when that part will be called the application will behave accordingly now let us discuss about j button after setting the properties of the j frame we can start placing components like j button on the j frame form means when we have created the parent control then we can start placing the child controls on it j button is a child control and now we are going to place it on the j frame a button is a component that the user push presses or pushes to trigger a specific action so basically how do we use button we either press it or we either push it and whenever we are pressing or pushing it then a specific action will take place when the user clicks on the button at run time the code associated with the click action gets executed means there is some code that we associate during coding uh, with the click action and when the user runs the program and then clicks on the button then the code associated with the click action will get executed so for placing button on the j frame you will select button from the palette then you will place the button as you can see here we have placed the button here these are the properties of j button and we will be studying some of them as given in your book now let us discuss about some of the properties of j button background sets the background color enabled contains enabled state of component true if enabled else false means if we have enabled the component then it will show true and if we have not enabled that component then it will show false font it will set the font foreground it will set the foreground color horizontal alignment it will set the horizontal alignment of text that will be displayed on the button and the text displayed on the button it is set by text now let us discuss about some of the methods of j button get text set enabled set text set visible first of all get text retrieves the text type then button as we have discussed that get text is a getter method and we extract some information so here by get text method we retrieve the text which is typed in the j button this is the syntax then set enabled enables or disables the button means whenever we want to enable or disable the button then we will use this method set enabled and this is the syntax of this method then is set text changes the display text at run time means whenever we want to change the display text at the run time then we will use the set text method and its syntax is given here then is set visible makes the component visible or invisible true to make the component visible false to make it invisible means set visible has two options true or false if we will set it true then the component will be visible and if we set it invisible then the component will not be visible to us we have also discussed visible and non visible components in the previous video this is the syntax for this method now let us discuss about j text field j text field allows editing or displaying of a single line of text means we can either edit the text or display a single line of text using j text field it is an input area where the user can type in characters we type the characters in j text field for 
selecting JText field, you have to go to the palette and you have to select JText field. As you can see here, it is available here. You will select it. Drag and drop the text field to the frame. What are the properties of JText field? We will be discussing some of these properties as given in your book. Now let us discuss about the properties of JText field. There are some properties and methods of various components which are repeated. So we will not be discussing the repeated portion. We will only discuss the portion which is new to us. So border sets the type of border that will surround the text field. Means text field is a kind of box so it will have a border. So the border is set using the border property. Then it is editable. If set true, user can edit text field. Default is true. Means editable has two options, true or false. If we set it true, then the text field will be editable. The user can edit it. And if it is not editable, means it is set to false, then the user cannot edit it. And by default, it is true. Means the user can edit the text field. Then is enabled. We have already discussed it. Font, foreground, horizontal alignment, text. We have discussed them. Then is tooltip text. Sets the text that will appear when cursor moves over the component. Means when we are moving the cursor over the component, not before it or after it, but when the cursor is moved over the component, then the text which will appear, it is set by the property tooltip text. Then comes method of JText field. Get text we have already discussed is editable, is enabled. Their names are suggesting what action they will perform. Get text will retrieve text. Is editable will decide if the component is editable or not. Is enabled will decide that if the component is enabled or not. Set editable means Sets whether the user can edit the text in the text field. True if editable, else false. Means as we have discussed the editable property. So whenever we want to set it, the editable property, then we use the pro, uh, method set editable. Then set text changes the display text at runtime. Set visible makes the component visible or invisible. One more thing that is important get text and set text. You must remember the difference between the two. Get text retries the text in JText field and set text changes the display text at runtime. This is the basic difference between them and you must remember this difference. Thank you. That was all for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. We'll meet you soon in the next video where we will be covering the other components of Java. Till then, bye bye.